all right, you've returned perhaps from somewhere else or I don't know, some weird machine learning algorithm sent you here. Uh, if you haven't watched my previous video, which introduces the idea of unit testing and continuous integration, I would recommend that you do. This tutorial is sponsored by CircleCI. Link to uh, find out more <laughs> right here, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how this magical post-production stuff works. Um, and, uh, but what I'm going to do in this video is I'm actually going to make exactly what I talked about here. I am going to make a sketch.js file that has a little bit of JavaScript code in it. I'm going to create a little node project so I can run a unit test. I'm going to push that project to GitHub and I'm going to link it with CircleCI so that the test will be run before I can merge any changes. Now, GitHub, merge, node, what do all these things mean? I will also provide some links to videos that you might want to watch before arriving here if you haven't used any of those tools before. But again, I'm just sort of plopping you right in the middle here. If you've never programmed before, you know, maybe keep watching, maybe, maybe something will be interesting here. But yeah, anyway, okay, uh, back over here. All right. So what, what do I got? This is my coding train GitHub organization. And so what I want to do is I want to make a new repository. But I'm going to do it in a slightly different way. I'm not sure why, but I'm just going to. First, what I'm going to do is I have a nice folder here on my computer called Testing Test Test. <laughs> testing Test Test is the name of my new project because it's all about test, test, testing, testing. And I'm going to make a file in it, and I'm just going to call it sketch.js. And I'm going to, this, by the way, I'm going to use the testing framework that I'm going to use in a moment. I'll show you something called Jest. I'm basically going to do the example that's in the Getting Started tutorial in Jest. Just to say, this is not my invention here. So I'm going to write a really simple function called sum. And what it's going to do is it's going to return the sum of two numbers. So again, I'm showing you a completely trivial <laughs> example that's kind of silly and, 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 and obvious just to see what all the pieces are and how it works. And then hopefully what I'm going to do is after this, I'm actually going to add some unit tests to my um, neural network library thing that I've been working on in some other video tutorials. But I'll get to that later. So I'm just writing this. Now, what do I need to do? Well, in order to run the tests, I need, to, um, I need to make a node project. So one way that I can do that is by, um, by the way, I'm in terminal and I'm in my directory testing test test. And I'm going to say npm init. That's a way to create a node project in that directory. Really all this is doing is making the package.json file, which is the configuration file for your node project. And again, uh, some other node tutorials I have go through this a bit more. So I'm going to do this. And it's saying this utility will walk you through creating a package, blah, blah, blah. I want the name to be testing, test, test. It's version 1.0. It is all about, all about testing, test, testing, test, test. And the entry point is sketch.js. Ooh, it even auto-detected that, that was in there. Test command. Ooh. The test command. Now, I don't have to do this here because I can always change it later. But I know what it's going to be. It's going to be jest. Jest is the command, like JavaScript test. Test, just, anyway, just. The Git repository, oh, I don't have one yet. Hit enter, keywords, testing, test. <laughs> then author is the coding train license, uh, MIT, I don't know. And then I'm gonna say okay. And then now, if we look back in Adam, look at this. This new file has appeared, the package.json file, and that is the file that has all the configuration settings for my project. This is the main file. There's a test script I can run called Jest. It's all about testing. It's by the coding train and it's licensed to MIT, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so now let's go to the Jest website. And I'm going to actually click on Get Started. So one thing that I can pull from here is if I want to run a test with Jest, I must install the node package Jest. And again, I will refer you to my video about Node Package Manager. And a lot of you who have experience with this will be telling me, why aren't you using Yarn? Because supposedly that's better for a variety of reasons that I'm sure I will hear about. But I'm still in the world of NPM. So I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to paste this into Terminal. Now, I just want to mention what the, I've shown in other tutorials what dash dash save means. That means I want to use this Node package in my project. For example, I'm doing something on text analysis, so I want the node natural text analysis package. I'm going to say npm install save node natural. But save dev means I am using this, but only for the purpose of development. My project itself, when I publish and release it, is not, uh, doesn't need the Jest package. I need Jest just for developing it. So I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to put on my waiting music. 
Do, do, do. Oh, we finished. Okay. <laughs> and now we're good. Now, just to double check this, look at this. Package.json now has dev dependencies, just version 22.1.4. So that dash dash save dash dev put it here in dev dependencies. So I now have my testing framework. Now, how do I write a test? One of the things you might remember from when I was looking at the P5 project is the source folder had all of your JavaScript code. And the test folder had all of your testing code. And they were the identical directory structures. For every directory or JavaScript file, there was a corresponding directory JavaScript file for testing. And this is a fine way of doing it. it uh, from what I understand, it can become a bit unwieldy after a while to kind of keep these duplicate directory structures. Um, Jest provides a bunch of different ways of doing it through basically the keyword test. And there's, there's a way of having a folder that has tests in it. But what I'm going to do here that's the easiest thing in the world is I'm just going to make a new file and I'm going to call that file I can't remember if it's test.sketch.js or sketch.test.js. Pretty sure it's sketch.test.js. Let's try calling it that. And then let's go back to the getting started page and see what it says. Some, so this example that, by the way, I'm doing exactly the same example. I'm creating, and, and it says to create a file called sum.test.js. So you can see Jest is going to know that this file is associated with this file. These are the tests for this file. So now I need to write those tests. Woo, boy. So I am going to go and just keep following along with this. And I'm just going to, to be honest with you, copy paste the code from the example. Uh, and later I'll try to write my own tests in a more interesting way. And we can see this makes sense. There is a function I wrote called sum that receives two numbers and returns those two numbers added together. So you can see this is now the syntax, the API, the um, expect is a function to be as a function. Those are functions that are part of jest, right? Sum is my function, test is part of jest. And this is written with a really nice, lovely ES6 uh, arrow syntax. Just, just, just to like unpack this for a second, even though I, I like the way this is written, I will try to write test this way too. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, just break this out into uh, multiple lines of code, just so you can uh, just so you can see it in a slightly different way. And just give me a second while I do this in the most convoluted manner. So what this is saying here, now you can see it's like, I want to run this test. This is the name of my test. And the function to run the test is called sum test, and it's down here. So this is just, it's exactly the same as this, but it's just written in a kind of more long-winded, less traditional, like less fancy, newer way of writing JavaScript. All right, so I think we're kind of ready. I've missed some stuff here, which I'll get to, but I want it to fail at least first. I have my JavaScript file, and I have my testing file. So there's no reason why I couldn't now, and in package.json, it says test jest, and I have the dependency. Okay, let's, let's try it. So now I'm here, I'm gonna hit clear, and I am going to say, here we go, npm test. One failed. Now, I already know why it failed, because I kind of did that on purpose, because I thought it'd be nice to like, see the test fail. Um, but we can actually see why did it fail. Hmm. Constant sum equals required dot slash sum. Huh? What is that? Uh, cannot find module dot sum. Hmm. All right. So here's the thing. I'm making use of a feature of Node that is not necessary when just doing client-side programming, which is oh, um, a client-side program might have an HTML file, which just imports all of the JavaScript files I'm using. But Node, we need to do this more explicitly. And it's, this is a little tricky here because maybe you could make the argument if I'm writing client-side code, I should run like tests in the browser. And there's a whole big world of like possibilities here. But I'm trying to stick to the very, very basics, the simplest possible scenario. And if we look here in sketch, we can see constant sum. Now, first of all, constant, that's a, I could say let sum, but this is good. It's not going to change, not going not to be reassigned. Constant sum equals require dot sum. Well, what this really should be in my case is dot sketch. This is a way require is saying I am going to require another JavaScript file dot slash in the same directory called sketch.js. Then that's, you'd think that would be better now, but I'm still missing a piece. I mean, I'm not even going to pretend that, because I know this is going to run. It didn't fail. Sum is not a function. So that's a different error message. The reason why it imported that file correctly, but 
I didn't export it. So this is one of the things I have to do. I have to say export dot modules. No, module dot exports. <laughs> module dot exports equals sum. So there's, again, there's a lot more to this in terms of how you can link and reference different files. But on a very basic level, this is saying this node module should export the sum function. And that's the one I want to test. If I had multiple functions, I could export multiple functions. There's a variety of different ways I can do this. So now, here we go. <laughs> it's, whoop. Okay, so the test passed. So this is basically it. This is, now I've, I've kind of come to the end of the testing component. All I've done so far is created this. I wrote my code, and it could have been a P5 project. I, I, the module thing is going to muck that up a little bit, so maybe I'll, I'll show you a little trick about that in a second. But um, um, all I've done is write this part. So the next things that I need to do is send this project up to GitHub and then figure out a way to allow anybody contributing it to it to have the tests automatically run via CircleCI. Okay? So that's going to happen in the next video.